Hello, Americans. I'm Paul Harvey, Jr. The Los Angeles County Coroner received Peter's body for examination. I don't know what examiners expected to find, but what they did find was was remarkable. A rare congenital defect, theretofore undiagnosed, and in the living, virtually undetectable. Peter had been born with only half a normal circulation system. Specifically, he had a right coronary artery complex, but none on the left side. You're supposed to have two. Peter only had this one. It was not a surprise, then, that, that he had dropped dead at 40. Others with that same condition, few though there may be, have collapsed and died in their early teens. So medically speaking, this is the rest of the story. Coronary arteries are there to provide the heart with oxygen. They are about the diameter of a common lead pencil. They are the vessels involved in bypass surgery when they become clogged with fat or plaque. The clogging and hardening are called atherosclerosis. A significant problem connected with this rare condition, the one in which only half the coronary artery complex is present, is that the victim has no natural protective response to atherosclerosis. Normally, the heart can compensate for narrowing in one artery by rerouting blood from another artery. But in this rare congenital abnormality, the victim has no other source of what has been termed collateral blood flow. The heart becomes starved for oxygen, too much so, and the patient dies. Well, Peter died all right, but not quite that way. The coroner reported no evidence of life-threatening plaque formation in what arteries he did have, and that seems consistent with his lifestyle. For years prior to his death, Peter had been a staunch vegetarian, a vociferous advocate of physical fitness and good nutrition and abstinence from dissipating habits. His complaints were few, only one substantial one about an ambiguous nerve problem in his right arm. So it was the condition itself that killed Peter. After nearly a week of microscopic examination, the county coroner concluded Peter had died of a heart attack caused by the gradual deterioration of the heart muscle. This inherited cardiological deformity is so rare, they say, that a hundred cardiologists throughout their entire careers might encounter the condition on average among them only once. But Peter had that condition. And the only thing more incredible than that is how he did what he did all those years. For in the annals of American basketball, one name shines as brightly as any other, that of Peter, nicknamed Pistol Pete Maravich. His Louisiana State stats made him the greatest scorer in college basketball history. His 10-year NBA career left him a five-time All-Star and the league's leading scorer in 1977. So it is not amazing, medical experts say, that Pistol Pete played with Hall of Fame caliber intensity. It is amazing instead that Pete Maravich could play basketball at all. And now, you know the rest of the story.